album review. Today we'll be going over Hayes Carl's Lovers and Leavers. Hayes Carl has had quite an amazing run in the last decade or so with albums as Trouble in Mind and K-Mag Yo-Yo. Um, the new album is a step in a different direction maybe than the first two albums. Um, it feels as though the more honky-tonk overtones have been toned down for a more atmospheric approach to the singer-songwriting game. Hayes Carl is also known as being one of the best poets in country music and Americana music in this day and age. And the word around the street about him is totally correct. He has such an amazing wit and um, really goes above and beyond to paint pictures and, and, and atmospheres and feelings that really touch people. Um, he has such a way with words that um, he can oftentimes get lost in his stories. You know, and really in, in country music in Americana, there really hasn't been a singer-songwriter like that for quite some time maybe since Tom T. Hall, you know, I mean, there are really great storytellers out there still, but Hayes Carl kind of makes the connection to a cross beat between Tom T. Hall and Towns Van Zandt, where he gives you these stories and these, these little glimpses inside of things that you might feel, but never could really express before. Um, Lovers and Leavers kind of goes down this path where I think at, in, in his life, you know, he's been through a lot and it really, he really paints a picture of, you know, someone really trying to connect with, you know, his significant other, you know. Um, it seems as though in a lot of the lyrics and um, words that no matter what, you know, you you know when you find somebody, you know it feels as though they eventually leave in one way or another, whether it be through you know the relationship not working out, or long distance, or life on the road, or eventual death. You know, things like that will appear from time to time. But the one thing I can say about Hayes Carl is he always makes it not into a depressing kind of time. He always makes it as a part of a life journey, um, and he does it really, really easily he makes you feel good about whatever you're going through in one way or another um as for albums you know earlier on you know especially k mag yo yo and um trouble in mind um trouble in mind seemed to deal with the fact of hayes carl coming into being a musician and finding his own way um you know whether it, it be through <laughs> getting a gig or you know, driving to Beaumont or, you know, uh, a really interesting girlfriend that might be a drunken poet's dream. But in this album, it seems he, he really centralizes his lyrical ideas. The other thing I could say about this album is it really seems as though his guitar parts were really more matured and thought out. A lot more finger picking seems to be happening on this record than it might have been before. Um, where, you know, Hayes Carl would seem to be more of the, the Bob Dylan-y singer-songwriter. It seems as though his musicianship is maturing a lot more, which might be the band. And it could also just be, you know, Hayes Carl is now 40 years old. Um, you know, time in between, long life on the road, you're about to learn a couple of new tricks. And he does. And he shows them off really, really well. Um, he also takes the time to kind of add in a couple of different things here and there, um, whether it be a stripped down approach or a more heavy guitar sound. But overall, the entire album seems to be a lot more atmospheric than maybe the first two albums were more straightforward with a country kind of sound. I think the thing to say about Hayes Carl is that, you know, he's really like a fine wine. The, the more that I've listened to him since his, you know, this, the major album for him, which would have been Trouble in Mind had come out, was that, you know, he, he matures with you, you know, he's taken this long journey with you. Um, Trouble in Mind was a really big album for me as far as, you know, connecting with the lyrics. You know, I hadn't really heard a singer or songwriter like that in quite some time. And K Mag Yo Yo kind of maybe took it a little more in the funny direction um, and more uh, worldly, like a worldly stance, you know, looking at what was going on in our political climate and seeing how things were going. 
as for lovers and leavers, it really seems like an introspective kind of um, event going on with Hayes Carl. And I'm actually surprised that this album hasn't been talked about more. You know, he always seems to just fly just a little bit under the radar. Um, and I really wish that, you know, more people would take the time to listen to him and listen to the lyrics all the way through. His albums also seem to have this um, amazing feel to them where, like, you listen to it from the start and you follow it all the way to the end. You know, all the songs are very, very good and they seem to see really well with one another, you know. I find a lot of times with country music, you know, you either find one or two good songs on an entire album. And that's not the case with Hayes Carl. It seems like the entire album is written to perfection to be listened to over and over and over again. And Lovers and Leavers is another album in that sort of vein where it really seems as though each song, you're not sitting there listening to it forever and then you're like, okay, I've had enough. You know, each song has just the right amount of time, just the right amount of lyrics, just the right amount of instrumentation to, you know, get to the next one and the next one. And before you know it, it's like an hour's gone and you don't even miss or realize that it's happened. You know, and that's a really great listening experience, you know, to be totally involved in an album and submersed in someone's lyrics and musical ideas. I feel as though this album really brings that to the table, just like the previous two albums. And it just seems as though it, it's a different side to Hayes Carl that maybe we might not have seen before. It also feels as though, you know, the lyrics are genu really genuine this time around, you know, it's not somebody writing a story. It feels like somebody's life being put to words and coming out the other side. If you guys have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we thank you guys so much for watching our videos and we hope to hear from you all soon. Thanks. Bye.